Alrighty, this is Josh Room from East West Alien Performance, and today I'm not going to get technical. I don't even know if I'm going to be educational. I'm going to vent a little, and I'm going to try not to make it too long. And of course, some people are going to like it, some people are going to not like it, some people it's not just going to it's not going to make sense to them. But here's my frustration: we're talking about gluten, gliadin, and whatever, and, you know, intolerances, allergies, and sensitivities, whatever they are. But from working with clients for 15 years, what I find is this that some of the labs that we do can be very beneficial. Of course, they're all expensive. They can be very beneficial to help us find out what's going on. At the same time, we have to remember that this, most of us doing this, are not doctors. We're not licensed to do labs. We're not licensed to diagnose. So at the same time, to, if you're working with a practitioner that's going to do a lab and technically tell you you're gluten intolerant, you're actually you know, crossing the gray area, the crossing that gray line, because you're not a doctor. And technically, the only person that could do a lab and tell you and diagnose, because it's a diagnosis, what's going on as a doctor or a chiropractor or maybe a naturopath. So we really have to look at this because a lot of us, in my opinion, are playing doctor. I'm, I was at fault for that at one point, And I think we really have to get away from that and realize what our role is in regards to helping our clients. Are we there to help them nutritionally? Are we there to help them maybe with supplements? emotional healing, whatever it may be, we're really not there to play doctor with them and do all these labs. Because if you really think about it, number one, it costs people a lot of money to do these labs, and at the same time, it makes the person charging you for the lab a lot of money, because a lot of these labs, whether they cost $100, they're charging you $200. They cost $50, they're charging you $100, whatever it may be, so they're actually making money on you doing the lab. Secondly, it actually creates a lot of confusion. Because it's simple as this, we have all these labs out there for, for gluten, and it really makes no sense for me. It, it makes no sense at all, to be honest with you. I don't really care what they are and what research says and who talks about them, whether it's a gliadin lab, a gluten intolerance lab, transglutaminase, wheat IgA, wheat IgG, agglutinin, I, a, IgG, IgA, uh, deaminide, alpha gliadinin, alpha and gamma gliadinin, 17 IgA and IgA, G, omega, um, uh, gladinin 17 IgG and IgA, uh, rice, belt, barley, you know, um, labs, glutenin labs, whatever they may be, but they're all expensive. And before we used to just have a, a, a gladinin lab, and now it's just it just keeps spiraling out of control, which equates to more money and more money and more money for the client. And really the bottom line is this, in my eyes, you know, you can think I'm wrong, but these labs are telling you everything you already know. Okay. You have symptoms, whatever they may be, and you can't base your how you feel or your diagnosis, let's say, off symptoms because you can have fatigue, and you can have fatigue for a million and one reasons. You could attach that to a million and one diagnoses, and it could be as simple as you're not getting enough sleep. It could be as simple as you're not producing enough energy at the cell level. It could be because you have a lot of emotional stress, or you're not providing your body with enough energy, which is food, to meet the demands you're placing in your body each day. So we have to be careful of that. But these labs cost so much money, and they tell you what you already know. So it's as simple as this. Of course, there's a lot of prolamines. You have gliadin, and you have hordians and secolins, which are in bion, uh, rye and barley, etc. Now, it's really simple. Don't spend your money on these labs. A lot of the foods that you shouldn't be eating that contain gluten, whether it's sauces, whether it's you know other condiments, whether it's hot dogs, whether it's grains, just eliminate them. Eliminate them all because these are foods you tech technically shouldn't be eating. Read the ingredients so you know what's in these foods, so you don't eat these foods. And technically, if you feel better over time, we could say you're gluten intolerant, but who cares? Because 99.9% .9 of these foods you shouldn't be eating. It's really as simple as that. So why do you need to go spend 100, 200, 300, 400 dollars in labs to find out that you're intolerant to gluten. When in all reality, you really shouldn't even be eating these foods. It's really as simple as that. I don't really see the confusion around this. I don't see the point in spending all the money on these labs when all you have to do is cut out these grains that you shouldn't be eating, use fruits and roots, cut out the sauces that are full of these crappy ingredients, maybe use sauces that are gluten-free, maybe use pastas that are gluten-free, maybe use grains that are gluten-free if you want to use them, and don't spend your money on these labs because the labs are telling you what you already know. And who cares if you're gluten intolerant or you're celiac? Just don't eat these foods. I'm out of here.